Yo, what up, y'all? Good morning. Top of the top of the talk about. Top of the young. It is Friday. We we made it. We made it, yeah, yeah. It's Friday, man. Last day of the work week. May not be for me though, because I think I may jump out and do some gig apps um this weekend. Probably Sunday. I may just try to get V I may try to get on VHO Sunday. My man, it's Friday, man. I'm up at Adam. I'm on my way to to the warehouse to pick up my inventory so I can knock him out. I made my lunch again. This whole week, I made my lunch, man. This whole week, man. Yeah, saving that money, man. Saving that time. I got my green tea with my lemon and my lime and my sea moss. My sea moss with elderberry. That came in the mail yesterday, so I added that sea moss to my to my green tea. Hey man, it's supposed to rain today, but it's a low uh, it's a low uh, chance of rain. Not like yesterday. Yesterday it was a washout, man. We got washed out yesterday. I still brought my, I still brought my rain gear though. Still brought my rain gear, man. Cause I, um, if if you, um, how, how the saying go? If you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. Well, that's how it go. If you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready, man. Um, had a good night's sleep last night. I went to bed around 10:30. That's early for me. I wanted to go to bed around 10. Didn't do it, man. I'll be watching TV too much. Watching TV too much. But yeah, man, it's, it's time to get it, man. Hope you had a good night. If you up and at it, man, um, thank God for, for waking us up. Um, go get that money. Get up and grind. If you're still sleeping, you gotta get up a little bit later. When you get up, hope you go up and get out and grind. Go make that paper for your family. Uh, all the drivers out there, I hope you have a safe day today. Hope I have a safe day today. Cause it's time to go get that money. So yeah, man, I'm going to check in with y'all a little bit later, man. I just wanted to say good morning to you. I hope you're having a great day. It is 57 degrees out here. 5.06 a.m. So yeah, man, let's make it a great day, man. Only you can make it a great day, man. Don't let nothing, don't let nothing stop you from having a, a great, positive day. It's all about positivity. You speak it out in the world, it's gonna come back to you. All that negative BS, give it the stiff arm. Give it the stiff arm, you feel me? So yeah, let's go get it, let's go get it, y'all. working to get everything sorted everything's not sorted out yet that's why I, uh, I was i was lucky enough to get my fan in here but i still don't have no room to really do what i want to do but this is all my inventory right here now i gotta get the scan and pack up
what's goody? I'm just leaving the warehouse now. It is 12 after 8, so I'm leaving probably about 15 minutes late. I used to try to get out about 7.45, but it's 8.12. Um, mainly because for the last two days, the warehouse, as far as sorting on it, has been disorganized. Like, man, they have not been... They have not been prepared or ready when the drivers get there. It's like Korea Express has been slacking for the last two days. Now, I was speaking to one of the guys in the warehouse and he said, the guy who really runs the warehouse as far as the sorting and everything, he's been out for the last two days. But that's no excuse. Like this is still a business. One man certain Oh, one monkey shouldn't stop no show. Put it like that. If see, if someone's out, somebody should be able to step in and handle the business like he handled the business. But there have definitely been a lot of drivers complaining today, especially today, because all their all of their boxes and things they needed to deliver have been all over the warehouse, and people have been having to go find their boxes. One guy. He, he, he goes up to the mountains like do. I think it's Blue Ridge Mountains close to Tennessee. Some of his bosses was in Marietta. Like, come on, man. Like, don't make it hard on the drivers because at the end of the day, the drivers are on the front line. So if you want to sort, make sure you sort everything and put all the packages in the area that they need to be in. That's all I'm saying. But I'm gone. I'm out now. It's time for me to do my job, which is deliver these packages. And I'm about to jump on 285 now. I'm just saying that I'm leaving a little bit later than what I wanted to leave at. But hey, nevertheless, it's Friday, so it's going to be a good day. End of the work week. So hey, man, it's time to get it. Um, the Rehab Center TV, you are tuned in. It's go time delivery. Cause it's always go time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the content, hit that notification bell. As you ride with me on my journey of independent contracting for Courier Express. Courier Express. Um, it's not raining today, which is a good thing. We might get some some uh, rain here and there, but for the most part. Precipitation level is kind of low, so that's good. Because I do not want another day like yesterday, man. Like I said, man, we caught it bad yesterday. But, still able to complete the job. So, I'm on 285, going to 75 right now. My first stop is going to be Kroger. I need to go ahead and get these, um, these uh, medicine totes out the way, because they're gonna be in the way if I don't. Cause I packed them last. And now what I've been doing, I've been putting the other medicine totes right here. So whenever I deliver the first one, these not gonna be in the way. So they're out the way. And I can I can go ahead and get my boxes without having to go around these boxes or go around that box. So yeah, man, it's all to the good, man. I'm out here, man. I'm out here. You see me, ain't got no hoodie on or nothing, so it's 59 degrees right now. Ain't got no hoodie on, so that's all to the good. So yeah, man, let's go get this money. Let's go get this money. Let's go grind. Let's go be safe. If you're out there delivering or whatever you're doing in life, be safe. Hope you have a great day. Hope you have a great weekend. So yeah, man. I'm gonna check back in with y'all a little bit later. I'm gonna holler back at y'all. So I'm on stop uh, number nine now. I just delivered to Atlanta Cheesecake Factory. And oh boy, hit me off with a whole cheesecake, the good one, Biltmore. Oh yeah, that's gonna be real good. Give me some strawberries with that. 
Good looking out, that, that vanilla bean cheesecake. But yeah, man, I'm moving along, man. No rain yet, so that's good. Hopefully no rain at all. I think it's gonna stop them at nine. Just moving through, man. I just wanna share with y'all the old boy hit me up with the with the cheesecake. And as much as I love cheesecake, I definitely gotta stop and give me some strawberries. But it's all to the good, man. Hope everyone's having a good morning. I, I know I am. So yeah. Let's go get it, man. Let's go get it. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. You feel me? So I will say this. Leaving my nine to five gig. And I was at this gig about 13 years. Leaving my nine to five gig and becoming an independent contractor. Um, doing my own thing, being my own boss. Um, purchasing, purchasing this Sprinter van was definitely one of the best decisions I have made in a long time. I do not miss my nine to five at all. I do not miss what came with that nine to five at all. Now, I met a lot of good people through that nine to five, I did. Uh, it was a great organization. I think I really stayed there too long, to be honest with you. I should have been done this. But I do not miss that at all. At, at all, excuse me. But I will say this. If you got a dream or a goal or something that you're trying to accomplish and you're scared to do it, go go and jump. Like, like your boy Steve Harvey said, just jump. Like you're never going to know if you can do it or not if you don't try that's one thing I've always been I've always been a risk taker there's been, been so many things that I've tried to do that didn't particularly work but but now I know that it didn't work I'm not guessing to say damn I wonder if that would have worked or not but I actually tried it and whether it didn't work or not least I had the courage to do it. A lot of people don't have the courage to follow their dreams. A lot of people are stuck in a nine to five job that they hate. So um, I'm leaving this all office building now. I just delivered 10 boxes of that Staples paper, 51 pounds a piece, heavy. As I'm unloading onto the truck, uh, uh, as I'm unloading from the van onto my my dollar and I got pretty much the last one on my dolly the security rolls up on me stops looks at me and gets out of the car he's like oh I'm so sorry to tell you but I was like if you sorry to tell me don't tell me you're gonna have to go to the side of the building they don't want if you have one or two boxes, you can go through the front door, but since you got so many of these big boxes, you got to go to the side. I said, man, are you really going to make me load all these heavy boxes back onto the van and then go to the side and then unload them again? I like, there's no way I'm doing that. I said, look, now that I know, because I've I came here multiple times and did the same thing, no one said something, nothing. Now that I know, how about just let me slide this time and the next time I come up, I, I promise you, I'll go to the side dock. He's like, uh, all right. He said, uh, I was like, lucky he was nice. Cause if I had to load them back up there, I was just gonna leave and take them back to the warehouse. He's like, all right, we didn't have this conversation. I was like, cool, man, man, I appreciate it much. Cause man, ain't no way these bosses heavy. And I had to unload them from the van and on that car, man, come on, man. Come on, work with me. Luckily, he was cool. He allowed me to go ahead and go through the front door. I said, now I know. I'll go to the side dock now from now on. He's like, all right, man. So yeah, man, he let me slide that time. He didn't have to let me slide. He could have he could have been an a-hole about it. He definitely could have, but he let me slide. So I appreciate him for that. All right, so I'm making good time on Kennesaw State. But while I was doing it, I realized, I realized that 
I skipped two stops right before Kennesaw State. So I finished this side of Kennesaw State and before I go on the other side, I need to go ahead and go double back and get these two that I missed who are right here around the corner. Cause I don't wanna have to go on the other side of the campus and then have to come all the way back here. So now that I knocked this side of the campus out, let me go ahead and get this side over here, that I, the two stops that I missed. And these are residential spots too, so. Let me go and knock these out real quick. But everything's good though, man. No rain. Knocking on wood if I had some in here. But yeah, um, I'm doing, I'm making good progress. All right, what's good, y'all? It's like 4.07. I finished my route about mm, three o'clock, probably a little bit right before three o'clock. Had a great day. No issues at all. Easy route today. I can't complain. Now I'm sitting at my, um, oh, well, I'm sitting around the corner from my 4.30 pickup about to pull up on them. Hopefully I can get it early so I can go since it's Friday. Like, man, yo, you gotta go get me some food and go get me a bottle of Remy. Remy. But yeah, everything was good today, man. Go time delivery. Every, it was it was go time all day. Uh, the Rehab Center TV, you are tuned in. Hope y'all was out there getting that money today. I know I was. Uh, it didn't rain at all today. That's a good thing. It didn't rain. There was a chance of rain, but it did not rain at all. Because I did not want to have to pull out that rain suit again today. But, um... Regardless of all the issues we had at the warehouse this morning, I was still able to get out there and deliver on time. Uh, it didn't set me back at all, so that's a good thing. Um, like I said, I finished the same time. I used the finish around about three o'clock. Um, I ain't gonna front though. I, sometimes back in the day, I well, let me say this. I was gonna say I used to finish around about five o'clock, but that was before Christmas, so. Christmas time was a lot busier. So yeah, um, the day I finished around three, I went by Kroger's to get all my empties, my empty toast that were, my meds was in that I delivered to him this morning so that I don't have to go have them in my van on Monday, riding around with them all day. And now I'm about to pull up with for, to them a little bit earlier. Uh, they probably gonna be looking at me crazy, like, why are you here so early? Like, man, come on, man, it's Friday. Um, go find those boxes so I can get up out of here, get on that interstate, deliver, and get to the crib.